Jenna Ortega fans, are you going to see Miller's Girl? Jenna Ortega's upcoming movie has sparked controversy due to the teacher-student relationship at the center of the plot, but movies that spark controversy are Ortega's favorite projects. So it seems that this It Girl is perfect for the thought-provoking role. While it may be a bit different from her other roles, her deadpan comedic style and love of all things spooky will be at play. Let's talk about why no one could be Miller's Girl quite like Jenna Ortega. Jenna is certainly an it girl these days, and we've all come to know her signature style. It's clear that she's bringing that style to her character in Miller's Girl. What's your name? Cairo Sweet. While this role is different for her, we can tell from the trailers that Ortega will be bringing her typical deadpan sensibilities to the role of Cairo Sweet. We arrived in Miller's Girl uh, beginning of October. And while this project may have sparked a lot of controversy, it's clear that it was important to her. I'm really curious to see how that one turns out, uh, just because it's probably the most complex character that I've ever played. So, while some may have been surprised that Ortega was involved in such a risky role, it turns out that this is exactly the kind of character she's most interested in playing at the moment. I always think it's interesting to do films that make people uncomfortable so I cared a lot about that one. From the Scream franchise to Netflix's You, and of course, taking over the role of Wednesday Adams in Wednesday, Jenna Ortega is thought of as this generation's Scream Queen. While Miller's Girl may be a bit different than her usual type of thriller, it still fits in with Ortega's flair for the spooky perfectly. Don't you get scared walking through those woods? I'm the scariest thing in there. <laughs> and by the sounds of it, this star has no problem with the Scream Queen title. I love it. Horror, yeah. is, horror is home. Ortega's a major fan of the genre that she calls home, but she's also got a theory about why the public has welcomed her as the face of that genre. People really like to see me hysterical. I wouldn't even say I have a good scream, but it's just very instinctive, and I think I have a really ugly crying face, which people just feed on. Ortega may be known for being both scared and scary on screen these days, but when she first started acting long ago, she was anything but scary. Her first gig was a toothpaste commercial when she was just nine years old. She became better known in the Disney Channel series series stuck in the middle, and it's common for Disney stars to struggle with growing into more mature roles. While it seems natural for Jenna, she struggled, just like her peers. I tend to do younger yeah. roles, so I was also doing children-oriented work, which I think breaking out of that is its own challenge and, and journey in itself. But breaking out of it, she did, and she's happy to have gotten to where she is. I did a movie a couple of years ago where it was a horror film, and I went from like super conservative Christian girl turned adult film star. That was a bit of a turning point. Ortega also thinks she's had plenty of fans who've been along for the wild ride of her career with her. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Ortega said of her fans, Fortunately, they've kind of grown up with me, so I think that they're at an age where I think they'll be able to respect maybe some of the jokes and references we make. Even though Jenna Ortega loves a movie that makes people uncomfortable, it couldn't be easy to embody her Miller's Girl character. Luckily, she and Cairo Sweet have some things in common. You talked about not being able to care for a houseplant, but spoke very reverently about protecting your 1897 edition of Ralph Waldo Emerson essays. Literature is important to Ortega, which is also true for her Miller's Girl character. Those are incredible. I, w I wish that people would read them more. We need real substance. Like, go outside and read a book. <laughs> yes, Cairo Sweet would agree. I read the whole list. Well, there's 12 books on that list. Party hard. Ortega may be a big reader, but her Ralph Waldo Emerson collection holds a special place in her heart, because she's a writer too, just like her character. I don't write a lot of screenplays, but I do like to write a lot of essays. Someone like Emerson, a lot of his work is essays. Even though she and her character have plenty in common, Ortega also had to get into the spooky aspects of playing Cairo. Somehow though, she makes it look easy. The minute you were in a fridge. Another time you were balancing tortillas on your head. You try to keep it light and fun in between takes. No, I actually do stuff like that to scare myself. I feel like yeah. in the fridge, it's really isolating as soon as the door is closed and it's dark in there. Ortega's pranks are fun for her castmates and great for getting into character. It's a moment of resetting right before take, so there's no distractions and no anything, it's just you with your thoughts and you get the time to really amp yourself up. Whatever method she used certainly works, and just one look at her at the movie's premiere made it clear that she She's totally in her element with this film. So are you excited to see Jenna Ortega in Miller's Girl? Are you glad she took on this role? Let's discuss it in the comments. And for more videos about your favorite stars, like and subscribe to The Things.